For the Bible says, there is none that doeth good, no, not one. So if your answer going to heaven is, I'm good, the Bible says, no, you're not. I've got a good church. No, you don't. Not especially a church that said all are welcome. Jesus Christ is the only righteous. And the Bible says there is none righteous, no, not one. And when it comes to mankind, we do have one thing. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All are sinners. And the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. It is plain and simple to know that only Jesus saves. Jesus is the only that can save your soul to go to a place called heaven. Now mankind has misconception. Man thinks, oh, if I just hope to go to heaven, it's going to be okay. You are hopeless without the blessed hope. And the blessed hope is Jesus Christ. And the Bible tells those that are already saved to go ye to all the world and preach the gospel. Not prosperity, not giving, not help the homeless, but preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. It's that simple. Salvation can only be set upon Jesus Christ and the finish of Jesus Christ and the merits of Jesus Christ outside of nothing that we can't do. Because the Bible says, not of works, at least any man boasts. And when we come to heaven it's not what I have done it's not what you have done it's not what a denomination has done it is what Jesus Christ has done and the Bible says when we get to heaven we're going to glorify and worship God and Jesus Christ not you and I'm here to tell you that you will not get to heaven on your own merit the words of Jesus Christ said I am the way the truth and the life no man cometh unto the Father but by me. So there goes religion. There are no Baptists in heaven. There are no Catholics in heaven. There are only born again Christians that have been washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus said out of his own mouth, ye must be born again. And the only way to be born again, to get that new birth, because you were born in sin, is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Salvation going to heaven rests upon not what you can do, but what Jesus Christ has done. It's plain and simple. God, through his scriptures, has ordained and has been satisfied by what Jesus Christ has done. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. What I'm doing is I'm not preaching. I'm confessing my salvation in Jesus Christ with my mouth for what my heart has done. Now as I turn to Isaiah chapter 1, Isaiah chapter 1, I'm going to read to you an invitation by God Almighty. God says, come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. You can't have your sins washed away of works. You need the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. And we're all sinners. All have sinned and come short in the glory of God. And when you come short, you're not going to heaven. You need a filler. You need a 
something for your shortness. And that shortness, that gap, that bridge is Jesus Christ. And that there is no other way. Religion. Religion is man-made and Jesus Christ is God-approved. Jesus says, come now. He says in, in the gospel, come, bring your burden. Cast them upon me. Because he's the only, now I'm not going to say he's the only hope. He's the only blessed hope. There is no hope in the Pope. Allah will fall down before Jehovah and pronounce Jesus Christ as Lord. Religions do not get you into glory. Congregations don't get you into glory. Denominations cannot save you. And yet Jesus Christ, born of a virgin, suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is God's salvation. That's how God says get to heaven. You come to Jesus to come to the Father. And when you come to Jesus Christ, that is God approved. You don't come to Jesus, but you don't come to God the Father by the pastor of your church or the priest of your church. You don't come to God by baptism. You don't come to God by good works. Again, the Bible says there is none that do good, no, not one. You're not good enough to get to heaven on your own. You're not righteous to get to heaven on your own. You need help of the righteous and the good one, the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. And we are all sinners, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And I can only, I can look at right now, three major sins in our life. Have you ever told a lie, you're a sinner? And the wages of sin is death. And behold the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Your sin can only be removed by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. No Jesus, no heaven, but hell. And without Jesus Christ, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Saved from what? Going to hell. All is not well. There is a hell by the one that created it. Jesus Christ said so in Matthew. And we have the story of Christmas, and we have the story of Easter, the death, burial, resurrection, and the birth of Jesus Christ, because we are sinners and we needed God to intervene. We needed God to step in. We needed that sacrificial, perfect Lamb of God that took away our sin. You must put your faith and trust in that work. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Saved from what? From hell. That's what to be saved from. You will go to hell without Jesus Christ. You will go to hell with church membership. You will burn in the flames of fire with your baptism. You will go to hell by being good. Hell is filled with good people. Hell is not full of people that put their faith and trust in Jesus. God's satisfaction to, oh, to open up glory for you is through Jesus Christ. Peter is not going to be standing at that gate. Peter has nothing to say about your soul and going through the gates. That's a joke. Reality. Jesus Christ is the way, he's the truth, and he's the life. It's that simple. There's only one name above all names that men can put their faith and trust in to be right with God.
That name is Jesus Christ. That name is a cuss name, and yet that name is a salvation name. It's a name glorified by God. It's a name glorified by those that are saved. You can be safe and secure in the name of Jesus Christ. But you've got to watch out. Because there is a warning in the Bible that there are another Jesuses. There are the devil's Jesuses, if you will. Those Jesuses cannot save your soul. Only the Jesus that was virgin born, that suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried. And arose again the third day. Only that Jesus is able to save your soul. The Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. That's the Jesus that can save your soul. It is the Jesus that Abraham told Isaac, God shall provide himself. And God has provided himself in the name and in the person of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Be good and go to hell. Because your goodness is not going to get you to heaven. It's the goodness and the mercy and the righteousness of Jesus Christ that is able to save your soul. If you were to go to this baseball game here tonight, you are not getting in there with football tickets. You are not going to get into that game with raffle tickets. And you're not going to get to see that game if you're going to go in there with the fruits and vegetables you buy today. You have got to have the baseball ticket to get into the baseball stadium. And in order to get to heaven, you have to have the right ticket, you have to have the right door, you have to have the right way, and that way is Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Anything else, and you get to go to hell. You get to go to hell. You will go to hell with anything else. And we stand here to preach the gospel that you may not go to hell. And we will tell you how not to go to hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. It's a vile, wicked thing to say, go to hell. But it's a wonderful thing in the eyes of God to say, don't go to hell. By Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone, the way, the truth, and the life. Behold the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. I didn't say anything about the church. I didn't say anything about what you can do. It has been done through Jesus. It has been finished by Jesus. Upon the cross of Jesus Christ on Calvary, Jesus spoke the words, It is finished. When you add religion, you are adding an artificial preservative that is not taken by God. You must have God manifested in the flesh, and that God is Jesus Christ to save your soul. Anything else? Depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Going to heaven rests upon the finished work of Jesus Christ. If you are going to heaven, and if you're going to heaven without Jesus, you are not going to heaven. You will go and burn in a place called hell forever. Well, that's not nice to say. Yeah, but that's biblical truth. You see, the only entrance, the only admittance into heaven is by the one that says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And those words were by Jesus Christ. God manifested in the flesh. You cannot get into God's glory with your glory. 
Your glory has been soiled. Your glory has been tainted by your sin. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That's pretty lighting, ain't it? There is no other means to get to God except by Jesus. And no, we're talking about Jesus and nothing and nobody else but Jesus. That is it. Because there is nothing else. You're not going in the name of a Catholic, and you're not going in the name of a Baptist, not going in the name of a Methodist. All may be welcome in your church, but not all are welcome in heaven. I'll say that again because this world doesn't it has this mental mortality. Not all are welcome into heaven, as you will see on the church doors and church signs. Only those that are washed in the blood of Jesus Christ gets to go to heaven. All else goes to hell. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Them are terrible words to hear out of the mouth of God, and those words will be heard out of the mouth of Jesus to those who put their faith and belief in anything else but him. In order to be saved and go to heaven, you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Anything and everything else, you're not saved. You're not well. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And the words of Jesus himself, I am. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, God, except or but by me. So you cannot assume and you cannot say, oh, I'm going to heaven, preacher. Are you going to heaven by Jesus? No. I'm a good person. When the Bible says there is none that doeth good, you're not good. You're not good enough. You need righteousness and you need holiness to get to heaven. And the Bible says you are unholy. There is none righteous, no, not one. You're not righteous enough. You are not going to heaven. Except you put your faith and belief upon Jesus Christ to be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Believe and on Jesus to be saved from what? Hell. There is a hell. And you will go without Jesus. I don't care if your church doesn't preach about hell. There is a hell according to the scriptures in the King James Bible. Just because your preacher don't believe it does not make it so. The creator of hell said there's a hell. And the creator of hell said you can get out of hell by your faith and belief in me. The worst words you can hear from Jesus is, go to hell. Why do men say go to hell? Where did that come from? That comes from the Bible. Jesus says, depart from me, workers of iniquity, I never knew you. And to depart from Jesus is to go off into a place called hell to burn forever. Listen, there are good people in hell. I'll tell you who you will not find in hell. Those that put their faith and belief and trust upon Jesus. That's how you not go to hell. You can only state, I am going to heaven upon the finished work of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. That's it. 
Look at me. You say, how do you get to heaven? April 21st, 1987, I, really, I received the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior. I repented of my sins, and I put my faith and trust upon Jesus. My name was written down in the last book of life forever to be settled in heaven by Jesus, not by me. And I came out from religion. I came out as a Catholic and became a born-again Christian. My name wasn't written in heaven in, in the Catholic Church. My name was written in heaven by Jesus Christ, by His blood. My name is the Lamb's Book of Life in the reservations of heaven by Jesus, not by religion. I'm a Baptist today by name only. Because Baptists don't go to heaven. I know, and there are plenty of Baptists out there, they will go to hell. Because they believe they're the Baptists. In order to get to heaven, you've got to be a born-again Christian. You've got to have the finished work of Jesus. Now, you can be a Catholic and be saved. You can be a Baptist and be saved. Methodist and be saved. But if you are not a Christian by the finished work of Jesus Christ, you're not saved. And you will not make heaven. You will not go to heaven without Jesus Christ. You will fall off in a place called hell forever. Oh, that's what the Bible says. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Acts 16.31 See, the problem is you got the devil, according to Corinthians, the devil's in the pulpits today. And he's preaching his way of damnation and deceit. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's it. When Jesus said, I am the way, there's no other way. You can't say, God, well, here's my way, when Jesus said, I'm the way. It's believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and I sh thou shalt be saved. They'll turn black. I know. For God so loved the world, there's your love, that He gave His only begotten Son. What is the love of God? It's Jesus Christ. You want more love preaching? You get it Saturday morning at the farmer's market. We preach Jesus and only Jesus. That's the love of God. John 3.16. And you may see that John 3.16. And John 3.16 is for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God's love is Jesus Christ, and the love of Jesus Christ is that you are able to be saved. Without Jesus Christ, you go to hell. Not enough hellfire preaching today. You got to come to a farmer's market and outskirts them to hear the Bible being preached. And I'm sorry, if what you're hearing this morning disagrees with your church, your church is wrong and God is correct because that's what's found in the pages of a King James Bible. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Your membership in heaven is by Jesus, not in a church or denomination. Now you go to church to grow, you go to church to have fellowship, you go to church that you may know what to do, but you don't go to church for salvation. You go to Jesus Christ, the door. Jesus stands at the door and knocks. Is any man that will come out? Come on out. We are prevented by law to come in the farmer's market. 
come on out of the farmer's market and we will take a Bible and show you today how not only can you be saved, but your name can be written in a book that will seal your salvation forever and you can change your location from hell to heaven by Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ alone. It's that simple. Only by the blood of Jesus Christ are you able to be saved. Only by Jesus Christ are you able to get to heaven. Only by Jesus Christ and nothing else will get you to the Father. With the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confessions made unto salvation. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you being good enough won't work. Your great church, not righteous enough. You're not holy enough. God said, be holy, for I am holy. God also says about the person, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Sin and holiness are not the same. They're like peas and carrots. They're different. In order to get holiness of your sin, you must come to the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. You must come to a cleansing. Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be made, it shall be as white as snow. You want to be clean? Church can't clean you. You want to go to heaven? Put your faith and belief upon Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. It's that simple. It's that simple. Bible tells us go in the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. You know what you do according to the scriptures? You are a sinner. The scriptures say all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That's your form of the scriptures. You do what the scriptures tell you to do. You sin. And Jesus Christ will do what the scriptures say. He can wash you and clean you of your sin. And the scriptures say you must believe on him. You must put your faith with your heart. You must settle down that you are a sinner. And you are not pleasing God. You are in rebellion against God. You are a sinner before God. And you sin. And are sinning. You're not going to heaven. Unless you put those sins through the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Unless you are washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. And that blood of Jesus, according to Acts 20:28, 20, is the very blood of God. So you can't go to church and have a blood substitute as grape juice to cleanse you of your sins that you need blood because blood is not grape juice and grape juice is not blood or liquor. And if you got liquor as your mess, that's fermented and polluted grape juice, and the blood of Jesus Christ is without spot and without wrinkle. Righteous and holy. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life.
Your faith in righteousness is in the finished work of Jesus Christ. Alright, you're going to the other one. The wages of sin is death. You know why you're going to die one day? Because you're a sinner. The Bible says so. Oh, preacher, I've never sinned. And when you're in the grave, people be looking down and say, sinner. A lie will make you a sinner. Taking one little thing will make you a sinner. Dishonoring your parents will make you a sinner. How you doing? Ever told a lie? That's right, we all have. So we're all sinners. And you need the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Because your sin is going to give you death. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. You want life? It's in Jesus. John the Baptist said, He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. And the wrath of God is hell. It's plain and simple. Jesus alone is able to save. The message to be out and preaching is Jesus. The Bible says go out in the world, go into the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's the means to be saved. Amen. That's the means to get to heaven. Good people don't make it. Sorry. Your checkbook can't save you. Charities don't count going to heaven. The only charity that will help you get to heaven, will get you to heaven, the charity is that God so loved the world, charity, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now that's a charity that will save you. And that charity is Jesus Christ. That love of God is Jesus Christ. That salvation is in Jesus Christ. The blessed hope is Jesus Christ. We're not going to glory in human beings when we get to heaven. We're going to glory in God. Let me get a passage in the Bible. Revelation chapter 4. Revelation chapter 4. Listen, it's all out of the Bible. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things. And for thy pleasure they are and were created. God will get the glory, God will get the honor, and God will get the power. You will not. And if you get the glory, you get the honor, you get the power, you go to hell. Join millions and billions of good people in a place called hell. Because the Bible says there is none that doeth good, no not one. You failed. 
The only good one, the only righteous one is that of Jesus Christ. Who is God? Now, if you are in a religion where God and Jesus are not the same, you have been deceived. You are in a lying assembly because Jesus is God. And Thomas said, my Lord, my God. Put that in your magazine. The Jesus Christ that we preach is the Jesus Christ that's God. Manifested in the flesh. That's able to save your soul. Fact is that the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Without Jesus, you're going to perish. Things are perishable, and at a certain point, they get thrown away. And when God throws you away because you won't believe on his son, he'll put you in the incinerator. And the incinerator has fire. And the place of fire is called hell. And without Jesus Christ, God will throw you out. You have no more of a value. Listen, you're not going to please God without Jesus. You're not going to be accepted by God without Jesus. You are not going to enter the realms of heaven without Jesus. Jesus is the standard, Jesus is the way, Jesus is the blessed hope, and Jesus is the only way of life. There is no life outside of Jesus Christ. There is no other God but Jesus Christ and God the Father. No one can stand up to and come to the standards set by God through Jesus Christ. The world has billions, quadrillions of gods. And the Bible has one. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And the God of Jesus Christ, who is God, said for heaven, I am the way the truth and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You want to go to heaven? Put your faith and trust and belief. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness. That's Jesus. And with the mouth confessions made unto salvation. That's Jesus. You want to put your heart in a church, that's not righteousness. You want to put your heart in your checkbook, that's not faithfulness. That's not salvation. If you can do it, you won't go to heaven. It's all upon Jesus Christ, the blessed hope. It's all upon Jesus Christ, the way. He is the way. There is no other way. The definite article, the, before way, means nothing else. You have been deceived to think without Jesus you can go to heaven. Good to see you. Have a great day. All right, Jeremiah. You have been lied to if you think anything but Jesus. You have been deceived to think, oh, well, there is no God. 
when the Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. Isn't that a great answer by God to atheists? I don't believe in God. And Amos says, prepare to meet thy God. How about this one where God writes in the book of Psalms twice? The fool has said in his heart that there is no God. Huh? You know what God calls you as an atheist? He calls you a fool. You ought not to call names. God does. He calls you by what you are, a fool. Fools do not trust in Jesus. Fools will trust in anything but Jesus. The fear of God is the way. The fear of God is the way of holiness. The fear of God is righteousness. That righteousness, that holiness is in Jesus. Fear Jesus and believe on Him. You have all liberty to reject Jesus. But the consequences of your liberty to reject Jesus is to go to hell. God is not going to force you to do anything you don't want to do. He sends out preachers. He sends out people to go with the gospel. We are telling you, but we're not going to force you. But we are telling you the way. We're not going to force you in the way, but we're going to tell you about the way. We're not going to use scare tactics. You say, well, you're preaching hell to scare the people. Man, some of you Americans, I couldn't scare if, if I had a scary machine. You're without fear and nothing's going to scare you. And with a mouth preaching hell and Jesus, that won't, that won't scare you. And in your pride and arrogance, you're not going to be scared when you hear God tell you, depart from me, you work of iniquity. I never knew you. God the creation. You can't believe in evolution to be saved because that's not Bible. Theistic evolution is just another lie. God made it and let it go. <laughs> And God will let you go to hell for that belief. It's God that created it is God that made us, and it is God that made us that suffered and died for us. It's the God that made us that said, I love you enough, I send Jesus. It's the God of love that says, I'm not willing that any should perish. Listen, Christians that are still here, that are still torturing you to, about the gospel of this man called Jesus, is because God's long-suffering say, listen, I'm, I'm trying to tell you how to get saved. Until the rapture or your death, you have opportunity to receive Christ and be saved. You can't change your mind after death in hell. There's no coming back from the grave. Once you are finally dead, you're dead, that's it. And when you enter into the place of eternity that you have decided before you die, that's it. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That's love. And the Bible says love is of God, for God is love. And the love that God reaches out is through His Son. 
the biblical I Jesus. Love this watermelon. This Ooh. watermelon is so bread. The biblical hey, Jesus hey. is the love of God. And the love of God is the biblical Jesus. I gotta say biblical Jesus because the Bible says there are other Jesus is out there. And if you want a love message of the love of God, that message is Jesus. And no other. You cannot have the love of God without Jesus Christ. And that same Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. What you do with the love of God will decide if you go to heaven or you go to hell. Put your faith and trust in your sins on the love of God. You will obtain eternal life through Jesus Christ. Reject the love of God, and you will not see life but the wrath of God. And that wrath of God abideth forever. Because you have chosen to reject Jesus. And when you reject Jesus, you go to hell. And when you put your faith in Jesus, you go to heaven. That simple. So if there were somebody standing at the gates of heaven, there's not. Why should I let you go to heaven? By the merit and finished work of Jesus Christ alone. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Why should I let you into heaven? Oh Lord, look how great I am. Depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Look how great I am, Lord. Depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Well, Lord, look at me. I was a 33 degree, and I'll send you off to a billion degree hell to burn forever. You don't want God? That's perfectly well. There's no God in hell. You won't find Jesus Christ in hell. You won't find a Bible in hell. You won't find preaching in hell. You won't find mercy there either. There'll be no grace. The Bibles describe hell as torment. Tormenting. Tormented. The Bible doesn't even call hell life. It calls it the wrath of God. If you're to put your faith and trust in Jesus, if you're to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved, you go to a place where there's no more sin. You'll get a brand new body. You'll be full of mercy, full of grace. You'll never have any more in glory, pain, or sorrow. How you doing today? Amen. Brand new body forever and ever. Without pain, without sorrow, never saying goodbye, no more death. No more anger, no more anguish, no more prescriptions, no more doctors, no loss, no destruction, all by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. And you can reject all that good by the one that is good and say, I'll do it my way. And when you do it your way, my way, you're not doing it by Jesus said, I am the way. 
You'll find a lot of religious people in hell. You'll find a lot of good people in hell. But you won't find any there that are saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. See, we think hell is just for the vast wicked. No, hell's for all those that reject Jesus. It's believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Or have Jesus say, depart from me, workers of iniquity, I never knew you. And if your name is not in the Lamb's Book of Life by Jesus Christ, they were cast off in the lake of fire that burneth forever. Forever is a long time. Take the pain you have now and multiply by an unnumber. There's no describing the pain in hell. And no medication is ever going to relieve you. Sounds crazy if I last, but that's what happens. Your medication, whatever you do, legal or illegal, it may give you relief. But you will not get relief in a place called hell. <laughs> If a pharmacist is in hell, he won't be able to give you nothing. And there's no alcohol in hell. Alcohol burns. There's no medication in hell. Medication burns. I need to get two watermelons. Okay, I have to my hand. The only thing that will not burn up in hell is your soul. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You are not going to heaven without Jesus Christ. You may think so, but God will make it no so. You may have good intentions, but good intentions have failed. Not all good intentions work out for the best. Especially when those good intentions defile the scriptures. The love of God is Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ is only able to save your soul. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. <laughs> And the best thing about salvation through Jesus Christ is it's all free. The gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day. To believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved is absolutely free. But without it, it's hell. Without Jesus Christ, you will burn in hell and you'll do it for eternity. You don't get to heaven without Jesus Christ. And it's free. 
absolutely free. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You know, the love of God is that he sends out preachers and Christians with the gospel. Go in all the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You cannot go to heaven without Jesus. It will not, cannot be allowed. You can't pass by the love of Jesus Christ and the gospel of Jesus Christ and go to heaven. You cannot get to heaven because you say you're going to heaven. You have no authority. The authority of God. is Jesus Christ. No, he's not getting, he's trying. I thought he's coming out. What is hope? Hope is the blessed hope of Jesus Christ. There is no other hope. Well, I hope for this, I hope for that, and death can stop your hope. Death can stop your to-do list. And without the blessed hope, you don't go to glory. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The hope to get to heaven is the hope of Jesus Christ. And the finished work of Jesus Christ. And by the merit of Jesus Christ. And without Jesus Christ, you have no hope of going to heaven. You are hopeless. And there's one thing every man in hell has in common. You are a hopeless sinner. Unwashed and unclean by the blood of Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish. Life to go to heaven through Jesus who said I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The ability to say, I'm going to heaven, can only be said by what Jesus Christ finished on Calvary in the empty tomb. And nothing else. And the old saying is not what you know, 
but who you know. And you've got to know Jesus Christ as your Savior to go to heaven. It's not what you can do. It's already been done. The satisfaction of someone going to heaven has been finished, accomplished by the merit of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. There is nothing else that can save your soul but Jesus Christ. The mercy of God is Jesus Christ. The glory and grace of God is Jesus Christ. You need and must be born again, and that born again must be done through Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ alone. I found the one up, you owe you money. Oh, oh, I know. Just looking for where they are. I think you better know. Without Jesus Christ, you cannot say, I'm going to heaven. Because you're not. With your church, with your baptism, with how great thou art, you're not going to heaven without Jesus Christ. You won't make it. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Going to heaven is by what Jesus Christ has done and nothing that you can do. You will go to heaven by Jesus. You will not go to heaven without Jesus. Grace and righteousness is through the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Religion is not a means to save your soul. Religion is religion. It's a name. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Put that strap in the language. When Jesus says, I am the way, there's no way for religion. There are no Baptist, Catholic, Methodists in heaven. There are Christians who have been washed in the blood of Jesus alone. And if you are good, hell is full of good people. When the Bible has said there is none good, no, not one. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. And if you think your works are going to make you holy and right with God, when the Bible says there is none righteous, what you think you can do will come short. And there is no glory in God by what you can do. It has been done by Jesus Christ. It has been finished by Jesus Christ. The gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried and arose again the third day is concluded by what Jesus Christ has done. You will only get to heaven by Jesus Christ. Anything else and you miss the mark. You don't almost get to heaven. 
You don't think to go to heaven. You know you're going to heaven. These things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. And that eternal life is settled upon Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ alone. It's believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Everything else will get you to hell. Jesus won't get you to hell. Everything else you will do will get you to hell. Jesus will get you to heaven. And by the grace and mercy of God through Jesus Christ, one can be saved, one can have his name written in the last book of life, and you can get to heaven by Jesus. But you've got to come out of religion. You've got to come out of yourself. You've got to deny what you can do and see what Christ has done already.